up guys this is Isay today we're gonna be talking about FL studio 21.1 the new beta they gave us new plug-in and they also gave us new features you know FL studio always comes through with that free lifetime update if you own the shit go ahead and get that update it's not an update it's a beta but it's what's coming you know so let's go ahead and look get into this uh, plug-in they gave us the beta version I should say uh, you know, hyper course, which is, I think it sounds dope. I think it will sound super dope on one shot. I think it will sound dope on pianos. I think it will sound dope in like after effects to capture an Edison to make pads or leads or whatever you want. And hear what it sounds like. Got a piano. I think it sounds pretty good, man. Like I said, it's not too bad. I like it. Can't hate on it. Next feature they gave us was um, Waves Color. Mm. Yeah, Colorful Waveforms. So what that is, is when you grab an audio, like a drum or snare or a melody or a loop from the piano or from your packs, you drop it in the playlist, it will change color to whatever. If it's kick, it's uh, it's color coordinated. So whatever the kick is, it will be that color. Whatever the snare is, it will be that color guitar and such and such. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys what I mean. Let's go ahead and come over here to the packs. Let's go to loops. Okay, the brothers. Let's go to click this one. Go ahead and zoom in. See what I mean? It's color coordinated. So now, if you were, <clears throat> if you were just a beginner and you needed to learn how to program a drum, you could grab a loop, drop it, and you know, you know, red or kick, yellow snare. Then you create your own, and there you go. Then that way, easier, easier for you to learn if you. If you're uh, if you're if you're like color coordinated or whatever that word is, I don't know. You know what I mean. So that's that, and it's pretty awesome, man. I can't really hate on it. So you could do like let's go to drums, let's go to hats. Let's see, that's a purple. Let's go ahead and click another hat. See another hat purple. So hats are always gonna be purple. Open hat purple. Then let's go to kick now. Let's see, it has a little yellow. It has a little yellow at the beginning. And and they're red for the most part. And that's the other feature they gave us. So that's two of them. New plugin. And they gave us a couple of features, but I'm only going through. Only going to show you three of them. And the next one is you could change scales within the one piano roll here. So the first bar is F, right? F minor. Second bar, you could do like. You could do. D, you could do D minor melodic. It usually, it was changed, like how you see how this, it 
change the pattern. You see how this changed the pattern? So it would do the same thing over here once it's a different scale. So I'm having a little bug. Then you come over here, same thing. And you add a mark. Then you hit that. Then it will also change to a different scale. So it's pretty useful. After the ninth bar, you want to go into to a different scale, you can. And uh, if you just want to switch up different scales through the beats, you can get creative with it, man. That's my three new updates. I am looking forward to FL Studio new update, man. This is just the beta version, so they could they could add on stuff or delete stuff. Who knows? All I know is new tools means new beats. New beats mean putting more work out there. All right. Thanks for watching. Till next time.